Hi everyone, I am Candace Porter. And one of the most common questions that I receive lately relates to resource management within Smartsheet. Smartsheet now has something called legacy resource management. And with legacy resource management, you can track and view how people are allocated across all of the projects they are working on within Smartsheet and adjust and make better decisions about workloads. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's very easy in order to activate this. You will be able to see here that I am logged into Smartsheet, and this is my landing or my home page. So if you click up here on the little house, it takes you to your home page. And what I'm going to do is click on my profile photo, which is going to pop up this menu for me. I am then going to select user management. So this is the section that I need to go into to activate my resource viewers. Once you click on user management, it's going to take you to a screen where it shows all of the different users linked to your Smartsheet account. Again, you're gonna to have to have system admin rights in order to do this. So once you get into this page, go ahead and look for this little pencil in the upper right-hand corner. So this little pencil here is going to be what you need to click on. When you click on that, take a look at the general info tab, general info tab, and you're going to see that there is a section where one, the individual is a licensed user. You have to be a licensed user in order to be a resource viewer. So that's one caveat as well. Make sure that they're a licensed user and then go ahead and turn on this resource viewer or give them access rights for any of the individual that are linked to your Smartsheet account. And again, we're going to go through how you can set up actual resource allocation within your different projects. You only want to provide resource viewer rights to individuals that you want to be able to see how different team members or how different users are allocated across various projects. If you don't want people to be able to see this, please don't give them resource viewer rights. Again, very easy step. Click on your profile photo on the home page. Click on user management. Go in to the individuals that you want to grant them these rights on the general info tab. Go ahead and go down towards the bottom under roles. One, make sure they're a licensed user. Two, go ahead and activate them as a resource viewer. This is part one. I'm going to follow up with a part two, showing you how you can set this up within your projects so that you can track allocation of your team members. What I'm gonna show you now is how you go into the projects themselves if you're not using these features yet and get them set up. I am now in Smartsheet and I have a folder where I have a couple of different projects. Now, all of the projects are going to need to be linked to your Smartsheet. So one key thing is that she owners and team members on the same account that are shared to the sheet with admin level permissions can turn on resource management. So this will allow the resource viewers to go out there and take a look and again, make solid decisions about workloads. I'm going to go into project two now and show you how I have this set up. This is very simple, just to show you how you can go about doing this. 
I have an entirely separate video on how to set up a project template using the tool set. So take a look for that if you're wanting to learn how you can use a smart sheet template to set up a project from scratch using your predecessors to help drive some of the due dates. So you'll see here, I've got several different columns here where I've got the task name column. I've got my work breakdown structure. So I have a deliverable, three activities, another deliverable, three activities. Again, keeping this super simple just to show you how to set up this resource allocation. None of the work is started yet. And look, Candace Porter is going to be really busy because Candace is assigned to all of the tasks in this sheet. It's very important that you have an assigned to column in order to activate your resource allocation. It's also very important that you have an allocation percent column. This is where you're going to say what percentage of Candace's time is being allocated to this project. And this is key. If Candace is working 40 hours in a work week and she's going to be spending 10 hours on this project, then 25% of her time, so 10 hours out of 40, 25% of her time is going to be allocated to project number two. There's a good chance that Candace is also working on other projects. So maybe she's working another 75% on a separate project. So really good to know. Again, this is gonna help you with planning purposes. So two key columns that you need to have assigned to an allocation percentage. Now we're going to make sure that we are in Gantt view, Gantt view, and that is going to allow us to have access to the edit project settings in the upper right-hand corner. So you can click on edit project settings in the upper right-hand corner, it looks like a little cog. That's gonna open up some options for dependency settings, timeline display, and there we go, resource management. When I click on resource management, you're going to see that it is disabled. So it's currently disabled. We talked about legacy resource management. That's what we're focusing on right now. So I want to go ahead and click on legacy resource management here. I'm going to see it's an option, it's the third option down. And what it's going to ask me is which column is my assigned resource linked to? You'll see that it's defaulting to the assigned to because that's the only column that I have people assigned to on those particular rows. So assigned to, and then allocation percent column. I'm going to select allocation percent. I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do, I need to go in and put in the actual allocation percent for Candace. Again, we said she's going to work about 10 hours on this project. She's going to be 25% for all of these tasks. So let's go ahead and put 25% for all of those tasks. And let's click Save. There we go. Up here next to where the critical path button is, you're going to see it looks like a little person with some lines next to it. That is what I'm going to click to take a look and see what Candace is allocated against. So right now, and again, I have to have resource viewer rights in order to see this. So project resource view, I can see that Candace on those dates that she's allocated 50% because she's allocated 25% to project two and 25% to smart sheet rocks. So right now she's solid working on projects within Smartsheet at 50%. So let's take this a step further. Project two, Smartsheet rocks. Let's get a project three in the mix now. I'm going to go ahead and go back to that folder I was within. So I'm gonna click on project three now. There we go, totally different project, project three. 
Let's say that we now want to allocate Canvas to a third project. First of all, I've got to, again, make sure I've got my assigned to column. I've got to have my allocation percent column. And I need to go in by clicking on that cog. And I need to activate resource management in this project as well. So you need to allocate project resource management on each project. So let's turn this on again, legacy resource management. Again, my resource is in the assigned to column. My allocation percent column is where I'm going to put the percent that Candace has allocated to this project only. I'm going to click OK on that. And let's say I want to put Candace on at 75% for this project, all the way down. I'm going to enter 75% on everything she's assigned to. That means she's going to work 30 hours a week on this project, 75%. I'm going to click Save here. And look at that. A little bright red person showed up on the left-hand side. If you're familiar with MS Project, it gives you a similar warning. And it says, alert, Candace Porter is over allocated. Open resource view. If I click on that, I'm now going to see that Candace is assigned to three projects, Project 2, Project 3, and Smart Sheet Rocks and that her total allocation is at 125%. That's really important for me to know because I can now go back and say, how can I reduce Candace time allocation by 25%? I don't want her to be at more than 100%, assuming that she's working full-time on those three different projects. If she's got other things that she's doing, I need to be mindful of that as well. Maybe her manager says, I can only have her working on projects at 50%, 20 hours a week. If I go above that 50%, then I'm going to know by looking at project resource view that I need to get her down on some of these projects. So this is your project resource view. Again, it is intended to help you make decisions and understand that she's over allocated on these three projects and you start having those discussions with the project manager. That's the key thing here. So this was part two regarding how to see if people are over allocated to specific projects. What is the purpose of enabling this resource allocation within Smartsheet? One, it's going to show you that red icon of over allocated people on the left hand side. I showed you where that was and what that looked like. It's also going to allow you when you go up to the resource view, that was the one with the little person and the bars next to it. You need to be in Gantt view and able to see that option. So go to Gantt view and then look for the resource view, which is the person with the bars. And that's going to allow you to expand each resource by name. And it's going to show you each of the projects that they are assigned to and at what percent. Then you can make sure that you're having those conversations with the project managers, that you're making sure you're not assuming that someone's going to be available at 200% when really they only can work at 100%, 40 hours a week or so. So it's just going to help drive better decisions for your projects. I've also had the question, well, do we have the ability to resource level within Smartsheet? Not automatically yet. So my guess, Smartsheet's always coming up with new features and functions, but that's probably something that's in their backlog on their to-do list. But at this time, we've just got the resource views to see if people are over allocated when you combine all of the different projects, and that's gonna help you make better decisions. So thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. I've got a lot of great things in the works. Smartsheet and other project management videos coming out soon. Have a great day, everyone.